Okay, now this is just getting out of hand. Apparently, everybody is now making rumors and like a lot of people saying Quando Rondo is at fault. And I'm going to tell y'all to fall back. If anything, we learned from King Von's uncle, Range Rover, what he said is exactly right. Dirk done beef with so many people, ain't no telling where it came from. Is it even about rap? Is it something from 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 4 years ago, 3 years ago, yesterday? Slow down. There's a lot to this situation than underneath the eye or whatever you looking at. This is deeper than what you think it is, bro. And, and I'm gonna about to tell you right now, for y'all to just hop out. Look, I understand a lot of y'all like picking sides. A lot of y'all don't like Quando, you know what I'm saying? We all know the reasons why. A lot of y'all ain't rocking with this man right now. Y'all make sure to go out y'all ways to spam his comments. Y'all boo him every chance y'all get. It's a whole lot going on. But to do the police work and start saying it's Quando Rondo with no proof at all, that's another thing that's kind of brazy. Some of y'all don't even know exactly how you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, D-Thing died except for the fact he got shot. You don't know what way he got shot, what's the circumstances, but you're just throwing this Quando Rondo. And it's a lot of names. People were saying it's ducking them people, allegedly. And I'm like, slow down. I'm not doing names because like, we know who the people involved here. It's dirt. It's so many people you can do that. I, I, I'd rather not go on the... You know, the fence of, man, it's this and it's that and it's... No, nah, but you're speculating. Look, you have that right to reserve to speculate. But Quando Rondo's probably minding his own business, living his best life, trying to wait for the case, him and Lil' Tim. They're pro I'm not saying nothing will get cracking if they seen each other. But I'm just saying, y'all, slow down with the repeating, it's Quando Rondo. I mean, with the way this situation with King Von happened, I don't think they can make certain movements just like that i think the feds and everybody watching them guys like a hawk if anything man they watching these guys down like a hawk man allegedly sometimes you gotta look at the aspect of cops involvement but i'm not gonna go deep into that yet you know i want to wait till more things come about before i even make a video about that part but it's just more of man i know look it's easy to say it's quando rondo that's the easy route to just take it's him he got to be guilty. No ifs and buts about it. It just got to be Quando. We're going to take him down, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be the junior detectives that we are, right? It gets corny after a while, man. That man is in Georgia trying to repair his career. Apparently, certain promoters don't want to hire a man that has a target on his head, educational purpose like Quando Rondo. You got situations where people are picking sides relentlessly. It's a lot going on, man. It's a whole lot going on. People didn't ask for this type of beef, but it's already here. Associates are getting hurt. People are picking sides. It's coming from which everywhere. You can't just pinpoint it to Quando Rondo. Now, the beef with King Von, if you guys don't remember, there was a long, well, not long ago. It's sad and misfortunate events that took, I think, around November 6, 2020. It was a nightclub incident where Quando Rondo was just chilling. He's, that's what his words to Angela Yee during that infamous interview they had in his vehicle while it was raining outside. But that's neither here nor there. And I think also at the airport, right? Now, Quando Rondo was chilling outside. Lil' Tim and a couple of guys was in the vehicle. And I guess King Von started walking towards them, approaching them. And things went left from there. We all remembered what happened. I'm not going to go back in time. Things went left, man. And the rest is history. We lost King Von. Rest in peace to him. Talented rapper. Told the best stories you could hear. And that, that's the outcome of these sad cases. You got loss of life and loss of talent. That could be around for years to come, but this is the route it takes. You know what I mean? So imagine now y'all trying to say it's Quando Rondo and people are getting that get back and he's a target. Allegedly, if he's not already a target as it is, meaning that now they're just going to go more harder towards him. But I didn't see them guys made a peep or nor a statement. That tells you a lot. It's chilling. When those guys don't even make a peep or a statement yet, it tells you a lot of things that are going on. A lot. Yeah. When you're in beef in the streets, man, it can come from anywhere, north, south, east, west. So you got to ask yourself, was it a backdoor situation? Was that backdoor unlocked? 
who was close to D-Thing when he went to that party. According to King Von Uncle, D-Thing normally throws parties like this. He goes all about in doing parties big time like this every day or every time span, whatever uh, Range Rover was saying during that time. With all respect, I mean as far as the date and time. I don't know how much times D-Thing does it, but people say all the time. He doesn't get touched doing these events and all of a sudden he gets touched now. One just want to ask, what led up to that? Did he get set up? Is it a backdoor? I mean, these are fair questions for it. Now, reportedly, he was killed killed outside of Chicago nightclub. Um, I think it's an Illinois nightclub right outside of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was called Harvey. And it's kind of sad, man. Was, it, was people seeing him coming out the club? Did somebody get the drop? A lot of things is just inaccurate. And it's way too precise to just say that it was a regular coincidence that the ops found him. So I'm not going to just say it's Quando Rondo. If that's the case, you might as well say every name that of, of pe personnels and people that this Dirk character or Dirk, you know, and I'm saying character in a good way. I'm talking about the rapper that he is because he is a human being too. So everybody that he beef with, you would have to bring them to the forefront and put their name in it too, man. Look, OTF has been taking a lot of losses just like everybody else. And these losses right now is too much pain right now. It's a lot of pain. This is a big, big L. I mean, this is your front man, you know, being Dirk. He just lost his brother. I mean, dad just came home recently a couple of years ago, maybe two years ago or one year and a half ago from prison to lose his son after doing all those years in the big can and coming home to this tragedy. You got to ask yourself, man, what is going on out here? Who can you trust and who can you run to? And that's another thing. What was the, the, uh, the thing circumstances in that situation? Who was he around? This is what we need to know. I can't wait to sit back and wait because I'm going to do my journalist duties and report this. I need to know what was going on in the club. What, Even though uh, Range Rover, um, King Von's uncle said that D-Thing does these parties a lot. But what type of event it was? What was going on that day? What led him to go down there and be amongst the crowd of that party or be part of it? Like, I need to know, gang, because a lot of things ain't adding up. And I'm not going to lie. You got to keep your circle small. It's the people around you that set you up. They're the defactors that are always going to be the, the players involved in your demise, unfortunately. Look, man, it's a sad case, man. Look, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. Look, gang, follow me at DJ underscore bless one. Rock out with my platform. Remember, DJ underscore bless one. Rock out with my Instagram platform, that is. Salute and out.